Today we will uh, actually show you something that has been on the market for quite a while. We uh, are able to run the Active2 on a Mac. And that's not just on an iMac, that's not just on all the software. Um, Biosemi has actually updated their ActiveView software 7.05 available on their website, which is absolutely fantastic. And I will show you how to install it, how to run it, but with this small introduction I'm just making sure you understand that I'm running here uh, a MacBook Pro a Retina with 2880 pixels times 1800 pixels and it will fill the screen absolutely perfectly, it will look super, super sharp and nice and anybody out there using a Mac these days can do so with the latest ActiveView software that actually embeds also the USB driver so there's no need for uh, installation of a USB driver all you need to do is download the runtime engine from, uh, from the Biosemi website that actually supports the latest ActiveView 7.05 version which is absolutely nice and now I'm going to show you how to download and install and make it all run Okay, first thing we're going to do is we open uh, a browser. I use Safari, which is uh, one of the fastest browsers on the market currently. We go to biosemi.com. Uh, we go to Downloads. And on the, on the screen you will see latest active view, which would be for a PC. We have USB drivers, which this is all for PC. We're not interested. So here it says USB driver for Mac, but we don't use it. We will download, first thing we need to download is the runtime engine 8.61, which I've already downloaded. So when you push here, it just goes to downloads. And also we have to download this folder here, which is called Active View for Mac 7.05. So we download all of that. We don't need the source codes, uh, nor do we need the USB drivers at this point in time. In fact, we don't need the USB driver because they're part of this new ActiveView for Mac 7.05. So once we've, uh, we've downloaded everything, we go to Downloads, uh, we open Downloads in the folder, and uh, we can see the LiveView Runtime Engines 8.6, which we would double click and install. As soon as we installed everything, uh, we can open the ActiveView folder that we've also downloaded and double click on 7.05. Now please remember uh, this is running on a MacBook Pro with Retina display so we're all worried that we won't see the entire screen upon this screen so we have to move left and right and up and down which of course it's been programmed so nicely that we don't have to do this. Now of course we can still, still see the dock uh, when we go to dock we can uh, get rid of the dock and now we see ActiveView very beautifully. When I switch on the Active2 and uh, I uh, load a configuration file, exactly basically the same as on a PC, which I don't have any uh, uh, other configuration files, it's the one that's called default. I just open that and I go to uh, Monopoly Display, I press Start, and very wonderfully we can see the waveforms toggling across the screen. Now, we can go to offsets, we can do basically everything that we can do on Windows as well, which is really, really nice because a lot of people use Active2 uh, on a Mac or want to use it on a Mac. And ever since uh, Biosemi has programmed this feature, we can all uh, download the software from their website and take immediate advantage of a great software running on a Mac today whether it be a MacBook Pro with Retina or without Retina or an iMac or any Mac uh, with uh, an OS above, I think it's 10.6, uh, which every Mac should have today. So this is really nice um, and I think that concludes the demonstration running Mac uh, uh, with Active2, which is very, very nice.